Hello friends! Welcome to my channel today. I'm going to be teaching you how to create an amethyst gem inspired nail design. And here you can see I've already applied a gel base coat and I'm wiping the dispersion layer off which will be very handy when you're applying a gel color. It prevents it from slipping around. It's not necessary to do it all the time but with this particular brand of uh, base gel which I'm using, I don't particularly like the dispersion layer left behind. I'm about to paint my nails with a really cute baby pink base colour as the um, foundation for my design. You can pick any baby pink shades that you have in your collection, you don't have to use this exact same one that I'm using. Any milky pink colour gels would do the job for this. It's pretty much going to be covered up anyway, so hardly any colour is going to peek through. And over here, I am using this brand. Um, it's a Korean brand called Pony Jello. Uh, it's very highly pigmented gel, but in this range, it's, um, it's actually a jelly effect. Or some of you might actually be more familiar with syrup gel. Um, this can achieve the effect of syrup gel, but um, it's pretty much got the consistency of a pudding and it's really easy to spread around. Um, it doesn't slide everywhere, it, it pretty much stays within your control wherever you shift the pigment with your brush and it's really great to work with. So what I'm doing here is actually applying the pigment diagonally across my nail in no real pattern, just a random diagonal line and I'm kind of just smooshing the colour around. I'm not being pedantic about it, it's really just to build a foundation colour for my nail, um, my nail design. So just imagine as if you were painting raspberry ice or raspberry ice cream. We have like the raspberry jam swirled into the vanilla ice cream. That's the kind of effect that we're going for here. Next I'm going to be using this Galaxy Magical Purple, um, which also has a syrupy translucent effect with a little bit of shimmer. Um, and I'm just doing the same thing as I did with the raspberry colour, just overlapping little bits of the pink. And I'm not being too particular about how or where I'm applying it. The whole idea is to create this unevenness of colour to mimic a natural gem. So you're gonna have, um, you know, bits of intensity of pigment here and a bit of translucency there. Now I'm gonna be using a multi-purpose base gel, which I'm going to be applying across all my nails. And this is just a base, a thin clear base gel that's going to help me hold some of the glitter flakes that I'm about to apply in place and it doesn't add thickness to the nail but it helps hold down the flakes exactly where I want them as I build more pigment on top of the nails to create this amethyst look. Ta-da! So these are the glittery flakes I was talking about where I needed my base gel, my uncured base gel, um, to hold them in place while I build, as I go on and I build more layers to create this amethyst look. Um, it's really important to kind of break the layers down when you're building a, a mineral stone or a gemstone look because that really is what uh, a gemstone nail is, or a gemstone is, that's how it's been built over the years, it calcifies and you've got salt and minerals within the gem. So if you just take a shortcut, say for example you're trying to go for a marble look and you just, you know, can't be bothered building these layers and you just cram everything onto one layer, it's just gonna look, come out looking really flat. I can assure you of that. So any design, any design that's gemstone inspired, that's worth its salt, is gonna require many different layers. 
And because we are working with so many layers, it's really important for you to find a good base gel or a thin overlay gel that you can use to encapsulate these different layers of glitters and pigment. So as you can see here, I've, I've applied another layer um, of uncured base, a multi-purpose base gel. Now I'm just applying a, a more shattered, broken down uh, glitter form of what I was using before, that iridescent holographic look. And this is just to add another dimension to the nail design. So now that I'm done with all the layers of glitter and pigment, I'm just using this purple metallic transfer film. I have not applied a, um, a transfer film glue or um, any transfer film gel uh, because I don't want the full effect of the, um, the film on my nail. I just want little bits and pieces of it. I, I want like a slightly distressed look. If that makes any sense, I just want like little speckles of it, um, just like you would see in a gemstone. I'm really just using the tackiness from my base gel that I've used for my glitter, and um, this is post-curing it, and I'm just using that tacky dispersion layer to, to take on those little specks of transfer film. At this stage, I've applied another layer of base gel, and I've cured it. And this part, this stage, what you're watching now is where your mineral nail is really going to come together. So I've just used a white liner gel and I've diluted this white liner gel with some alcohol-based brush cleaner. And you don't have to use an alcohol-based brush cleaner if you don't have one. Uh, you can just use 100% alcohol. That's fine too. And the magic in that is that it dilutes down the pigment, it breaks down the pigment into this sort of translucent watercolor effect or you control it however you want, however opaque you want the effect to be. And as you can see here, I have loaded my brush with pigment and I'm just dragging the pigment across my nail in a 45 degree angle, um, diagonally across and it's just creating this uneven unevenness, there's no straight lines, it's just um, it's just going in a very organic um, fashion. Almost like watching ink spread, if you will. Now we've reached one of the final stages of really adding depth to this nail design and what I'm doing here is I've used the white, my white liner gel and a really thin striping brush and I'm just drawing organic lines over the top of the inky white um, pigment that I've left behind in the last um, layer. This last step really adds contrast and depth to the nail design and I would just recommend that you don't overthink where you draw your lines just kind of go with it organically um, it is after all a natural gemstone inspired nail design so just go with the flow
now we're all done with the design and what we're left to do is apply a gel top coat and what I'm just using here is a no wipe gel top coat which uh, I apply a thin layer of and I just cure it and that is it but um, just to troubleshoot a few issues if you happen to use glitter or more glitter than I have and you have a situation where it's a lot more textured and it's you've got um, little bits sticking out and it's not going to be covered by a thin layer of top gel then what you want to do is get yourself a, um, a slightly thicker overlay gel or a thicker top gel so that you can sort of even out the uneven bits because you really don't want anything sticking out of the surface of your nail it's gonna be really annoying to wear and it will snag everything you wear and we don't want that do we so here we are done with the nail design i'm just cleaning down my nails now and the next step is to actually put on some cuticle oil which is my favorite step out of all the steps because it just makes everything look nice and moisturized and healthy so there we have it. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please leave any comments or feedback. I'm, I'm so happy you've stayed this long to watch my video. Um, if you have any ideas of what you want to see next, please let me know in the comments below. And take care. Goodbye.